Welcome back to a brand new cruise vlog series here on board P&O's brand new ship, Arvia. Come join us as I take you around some of the most amazing Caribbean islands such as Bridgetown, St. Lucia, Fort de France, St. Kitts, St. John's Antigua, Phillipsburg, La Roma, Dominican Republic, Tortola and then back to Bridgetown. And as this is the first time me and my younger brother Stevie have ever visited the Caribbean, we thought let's do this at full max. Let's go swimming in the sea. Let's go swimming with turtles. Let's go hiking up the highest mountains. And let's just have the best time. Come and join us as we explore P&O's area. Come and join us as we explore the Caribbean. And again, thank you so much for watching. It is so good to be back. Hello, hello, hello. Guys, welcome back to a brand new cruise series. We are getting ready to head to Manchester Airport very, very soon to get on board P&O's brand new flagship, Arvia. And oh my God, am I excited to get out of Manchester. Look at the bloody snow. It's freezing out there. It's like one degree. So because we are doing a fly cruise, not today, but tomorrow morning, we are going to be heading to Manchester Airport. We get our flight, which is going to be run by Tui Airlines, which is organized by P&O. We spent eight and a half, eight and a half hours on a transatlantic flight. Oh my God. <laughs> And then we will get on Arvia, which is P&O's brand new ship in Barbados. And we are mega excited. You're probably thinking who you're traveling with. Um, I am traveling with my little brother, but we are having a little bit of drama right now. And my trips always start with a little bit of drama. So the drama all began last night when I received this email. Your train is cancelled. Before I explain this story, actually, if you've not seen me before, my name is Danny Talibo. Welcome back to the channel if you have been here. If you like this type of content, make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button now the reason why I want to mention this is because you may have saw my little you may, may have seen my little brother before and um, the last time he was on this channel he was 13 and we did our first ever cruise which was with P&O uh, it was amazing and we we absolutely loved it and then we did Florida and whatever that yeah it was amazing and then obviously the great unpleasantness hit the world and we we didn't really travel much so since then me and my brother haven't traveled well together anyway my brother's now 17 so for any years who have not watched my vlogs for a long time he's a he's a young little man now bless him so do you know me and my mum thought rather than me driving three hours up to newcastle three hours back like six hour round trip wouldn't it be awesome to get him on a train great little experience for him you know as part of like growing up growing up getting on a train on his own and whatever so i literally booked the trains was like yay i'm all organized for once and then i got that email to say it was cancelled thankfully nathan i love you to bits my friend nathan who you may have saw on the channel before he is picking him up and he's getting the earlier train so he's still getting the train he's just coming earlier so like now i'm not even going to show you what's behind me the house is all over the place we are literally leaving to head to our hotel that we're staying at tonight which i'll tell you a little bit more about later in six hours within that six hours i need to finish patting up the case i need to iron all my shirts and that for the cruise and i need to get the house all sorted will i get it done probably not but we're going anyway <laughs> oscar say hi to youtube oh no no definitely doesn't want to say hi today and to be honest i'm making out like i'm not that packed i've got me ties in here the only thing that i need to really do now is iron my pants um i've got oh i bought these today actually highly recommend well i say i highly recommend i haven't tried them on yet well they do actually fit my feet that is a, that is a good sign i did try them on with my socks before i'm like i don't really like the sand i know it sounds crazy because we are going to the caribbean right but i'm not really keen on the beach <laughs> You're probably like, what the hell am I watching? But I'm not. So I thought, do you know what, right? Don't want to like, obviously, we're going to the Caribbean. I want to be on the beach as much as possible. So I thought, well, I'll take these. It means that hopefully sand shouldn't get in my feet. And then if I walk into the sea, I'm not going to be scared about like standing on any like sharp objects. You know what I mean? And with the power of magic and editing, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to basically flash forward years to about 7 p.m. tonight where I should be packed fingers crossed we should be all sorted fingers crossed and stevie should be on a train to manchester fingers crossed 
I'll see you in a couple hours. Oh my god, where do I start with this? It is currently 6.51 in the morning and I know what you're thinking. Did you manage to get everything done in time? Well, judging the fact that it's 6.50 in the morning, where we are right now in Jet Park, we didn't know. And we didn't even stay in a hotel last night. We cancelled the hotel and we just stayed at home and let me tell you why. Firstly, my very tired brother is right here right now. And um, bless him, he had he had the day from hell yesterday. He actually travelled from Newcastle to Manchester, and as he got to Newcastle Central Station, his trains were all cancelled. So literally on the spot, we were trying to sort his trains out. It was a bit of a nightmare, but I'll explain more about that later in this series. Just a little side note: we're in Jet Park Three right now. There's the bus driving past, but from what I remember, the bus does a U-E and comes back this way. So Stevie, we should probably start getting everything out the car and uh, go and wait for that bus and we're off the bus and we are at Manchester's Terminal 2. How excited are you? Yeah, I can't wait. And that is us now through security as well. Stevie, how was your security experience? Got scammed and everything. <laughs> it did. And then, I don't know how it happened, but I've, I basically have brought like my um, like nail filers, toenail clippers, everything like that I always do when I go on holiday. And for some reason, the file for the toenail clipper was out of the bag and all he did was pulled out this toenail clipper, which looked like a blade, didn't it, Stevie? It did look like a blade. It literally looked like a blade. And he was like, oh, it's fine, it's under the size. I was like, I'm surprised I'm allowed on the plane with that. I am so sorry. I was like, if you want to chuck it, I know you're allowed on the plane with it, it's in the bag. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad we're through security. I really do not like security. <laughs> but, you know, it's needed. And we're now in the main terminal. Bless Stevie. He's actually away over at Boots to see if he can get some swimming goggles. Because we are going on a Caribbean cruise. Obviously, we need swimming goggles. And bless him, little brother. He's forgot his. I've got mine. He hasn't got his. <laughs> so we're now roaming the airport looking for swimming goggles. We went as that. Didn't have them. We went, literally even went to the Trafford Centre yesterday. And even they didn't have swimming goggles. So we will try. We will, we will find them, surely, somewhere. If not, we may have to get them when we're in Barbados. At the end of the day, we are going to the Caribbean, so you do need your swimming goggles. And look at it today, it is a glorious morning in Manchester Airport. I haven't seen our plane yet, but we still have a good hour until boarding, so it might end up pulling over somewhere over there. We're actually, we've just been given our boarding time, but I was just saying to Stevie, the difference in this airport as soon as like the early flights have gone, and it's more the afternoon flights, the airport just becomes really, really quiet. Like, I mean really quiet, all the restaurants are quiet, everything's just crazy quiet. And you may have noticed, I look like I'm nearly falling asleep, so I've got myself a pret. <laughs> bit of coffee to get myself going. They're calling the plane now. Um, it's We're not meant to be boarding for another half an hour, but we're going to just head down now. And interestingly, we're actually in the old terminal. So we're going at 2.02. And this is the old terminal. Stevie's having some great fun with my suitcase, bless him. <laughs> we are both knackered. We've only had four hours sleep, so we're definitely going to have some sleep on the plane. Oh my love. You're such a fragile thing, I know. And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet The trees haven't started to shed Feel the summer sun as it warms our bed I'm lying And I'm lying When I say Barbados guys, we are here, we 
have just landed. Flight, <laughs> flight was really, really easy and simple. Um, very busy flight though, it was really, really busy, but yeah. You can actually see the airport. The Barbados airport is absolutely tiny. Stevie's just there. We are just living in awe right now, completely living in awe. How was your flight experience with Tubi, Stevie? Yeah, it was okay, just a bit cramped. Lady in front of us, uh, pushed the chair back on my knees. Oh yeah, lady, bless him, pushed that chair back all the way onto his knees and he was crushed. But Stevie, what's it like being in Barbados? Um, not as hot as I thought it would be, but I think that's just because the sun's not out. Yeah, it is five o'clock. And I just want to quickly give Christine and Ellie a shout out who we met on the plane and we were actually sitting next to for the entire flight. Bless them, they were absolutely amazing. It was lovely meeting you two. We're going to be seeing each other a lot around the cruise, obviously, because they're on the cruise of us. And uh, yeah, we're just on our way to the ship. Oh, wow. Me and Stevie are just like loving this. Look at some of the houses. This sort of like schools. Oh, I can't believe, you know, right now we are in Barbados, heading over to P&O's Arvia at the port. It's just like, it's just crazy mad. I'm just so excited and I feel so lucky to be here. And we've actually made it to the seafront now. It's been really interesting just driving through Barbados and just seeing how different everything is here. It's actually been really, really nice. Um, really like eye-opening as well. There she is. She is absolutely massive. Now I obviously went on the Iona a few months ago, but seeing her again, like seeing Zavia, the sister ship, wow. Anyway, let's embark. And we are here, look at it, man. It is so massive. And there's a lovely band playing, Stevie. How are you feeling? The ship's massive. And we've just got on board and they've actually got fresh flowers on the entrance. Oh my God. Stevie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, I'm excited. And the first thing we're actually gonna do is head to our cabin and we're currently on deck four and we need to climb to deck 14. Wish us luck, guys. We are climbing, we are climbing. Oh, and after all them steps, guys, we've made it to deck 14. I'm just waiting for Stevie to climb the steps. There he is. Come on, Stevie. <laughs> He's struggling. Deck 14. This is our deck. And here we go. This isn't bad at all. So we do have an inside cabin. So I'm just going to quickly show you around the room just dead quickly. Obviously, we've got an LGT LG, oh my god, I can't get words out. LG TV. We've got a nice sofa here, which Stevie's modeling on. We've got tea and coffee making facilities. We've got the two single beds. So, Stevie, I'm going to automatically say you can have this bed. And I think I'll have that bed, even though when I feel like I've got the unlucky bed. Surely, though, do you reckon this TV will pull out? Hang on. Let's see if this TV. Oh, it does. It maneuvers. Oh, look. It actually does maneuver. So it actually maneuvers out, guys. So if you are like in my bed, well, you won't be in my bed. That's, yeah, you definitely won't. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you're in a bed like mine, then you can maneuver the TV out. And then we've got this door here, which leads to the bathroom. We've got a toilet, sink, and then we've actually got a really good size shower, actually. I'll, uh, I'll step in it. And you can see, even with me in the shower with the door closed, there's actually still a lot of space. So this is a, uh, this is all right, this. Oh, now chill, right? Honestly, this is always the bit of the cruise where it's like tiring. You've just been on a long haul flight. Like we've been on a seven, eight hour flight. We then got on a bus here. We obviously went to Manchester this morning and now we're sitting down and we can finally chill. Now the plan is at the moment, we do have this inside cabin. Now, I think I've mentioned with a few of you guys on Instagram, I am going to see if we can upgrade. So I got offered um, a cheaper upgrade with P&O, um, closer to sailing, and I actually declined it, and I feel like a bit of a silly fool for declining it, <laughs> to be honest, because it was such a good deal. So the, what they said is, I rang them on Tuesday, and they said, don't worry about it. When you get on the ship, the first thing to do, because obviously you're not the only one that's been offered this deal, go downstairs, speak to the reception, and see if um, there's still availability. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm actually really phoning in love with this cabin i think you know first impressions i really like it i like i like i like how small and petite it is and me and stevie will be getting the drinks package this cruise we're going to get um we're going to be eating out a lot we've got a lot of excursions so i don't foresee us being in this room a lot but also it would be nice to have a balcony as well but like i say if they're not available it, it's not the end of the world for me because this is all right i'm loving the tv the tv's a brilliant size i'll actually just quickly show you as well 
the actual cupboard storage space here. So this is the wardrobe. Oh, Stevie, when, when our cases come, by the way, we don't have our cases yet. They're still on the plane heading over. But when they do come, we've got quite a lot of hangers. And then, I don't know if I've told you, Stevie, I've actually packed a few hangers as well. Huh. Yeah, so I've, I think I've packed about nine hangers. So we've got extra hangers, enough to both go around. And then we've got like little door hangers here, which is by the door. Also, quick one as well. God, I feel like hang sheet down, just take a breath. <laughs> just take a breath. <laughs> I'm going like super speed here. Um, the muster station, you don't actually visit your muster station on this cruise. You actually have to watch a video which is on the TV. We have to watch it by 10, 15 a.m. he said tomorrow morning. Because the ship isn't going anywhere tonight. The actual ship is staying in dock. Doesn't set sail till tomorrow night. It's actually, I've just loaded up the TV and this is the first thing that's came up. Please go to your muster station before we set sail. Case of emergencies and you will need to get your cruise card scanned here. In the unlikely event of an emergency, you should go to your muster station. Which our muster station is A, deck 7. ...shows you how to get there from your cabin. Your cabin steward will show you where to find your life jacket on the shelf in your wardrobe. Okay, life jacket's on the shelf. So here's a demonstration of how you put it on. Right. It's a tad a little bit later. We've got the drinks package. Stevie has the kids drinks package. I've got the soft drinks package. So I went down to reception to find out about them upgrades. And unfortunately, they're all gone. <laughs> they're all gone. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm not bothered. Me and Stevie both had a chat and we, we really like this cabin. It's really, really nice. Like, let me show you it again from like the seat and I'm gonna apologize because it's a bit of a mess. So this is it from like the seat because actually me and Stevie have actually been upgraded to a PAS. Yeah, Stevie's literally so tired. <laughs> He's literally dozing off there. I've told him we really can't go to sleep yet. It's only 7.44 and he'll just ruin his sleeping pattern. Um, but yeah, please mind the mess. We're still waiting for our cases. But this is from the sofa. So I'm gonna have this bed. Stevie's gonna have that bed. And we're just really, really pleased with this cabin. It's a lot nicer. I think what it was is before I came out, um, a couple of my friends have been on this cruise and they were saying, oh, Dan, you probably won't like the inside cabins because they're really, really dark. Now, I don't know if anything has changed since the maiden voyage to now, but what I can tell you as someone who has only ever stayed in one inside cabin in the past and that was with Royal Caribbean this is the best inside cabin I've been in and this is so well lit as you can see it's really well lit TV's a really good size tell you what I can confirm is these beds are lovely and comfy <laughs> really lovely and comfy and our um our excursions have just arrived actually so this booklet is full of all of mine and stevie's excursions this cruise we've actually booked quite a few so we've actually booked best so obviously you'll see this through the through the entire series i don't know how long the series is going to be i'm just going to like fill them everything and then we'll just split it up but we're doing best of barbados tomorrow oh is that our cases oh is it oh i was thinking what cases i'm trying we um just a quick one actually for anyone who is planning on sailing on Arvia anytime soon. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi is non-existent on board and um, I'm really, really struggling. It's like there, but it's not there at the same time. And like, it's, I, I reckon, I reckon dial-up would be better. <laughs> I'm not joking, and for as many of you know, I, I work when I'm on holiday, I'll edit YouTube videos and upload YouTube videos when I'm on holiday, which is what I do, I like to do it. Um, saying that the emails are loading, but it's just really, really slow. Anyway, so we've got Best of Barbados tomorrow, and that's at 9.15, then we're walking up Sage Mountain, which is a Totola, Totola? Apologies if I'm butchering these names for, for these for these uh, lovely places. Then in Dominican Republic, we're going in the caves. We've got a nice safari drive in Antigua. And then we're going up some waterfalls in St. Lucia. So it's really, really nice. And then in the meantime, we're going to do some swimming. I've actually, in my main case, bought some sea shoes. So like you can go on the beach with them. I think I showed them at the start of this vlog. They literally, I can't wait to try them on. They, they feel and look amazing. I tried them before, obviously traveling out in the remain and so yeah we'll see how they get how i get on with them through this cruise just thought i would show you the tv as well apologies if it flickers and stuff obviously sometimes it flickers best thing about these newer ships that pno have which i absolutely love is they've got a really good movie section so i'll show you the film section
section. They do have a cinema on board as well, which will be in the next vlog when we do like a little bit of a ship tour. But look, we've got like 28 Days Late at 29th Street. They've got like recently added movies, Belfast. Um, they've got the Doctor Strange, um, Downton Abbey, Encanto, uh, Dumbledore. There's so many. Oh, House of Gucci. I actually want to watch that. That's got um, Lady Gaga in Jungle Cruise with Dwayne Johnson. There's so many movies on here. So I was saying to Stevie, like, that's if he's uh, he's, he's falling asleep. Bless him. He, he has been up for like 17 hours, but I keep saying we really can't go to sleep yet because if we do, he's just gonna <laughs> he's just gonna ruin his sleeping pattern. Basically, we're gonna sit in this room until the cases come. Up. We're hoping. So I'm trying to track. I am trying to track the cases. So if anyone doesn't know, I use AirTag. AirTags are basically like a Find My iPhone thing. It was. It says my case was last seen at 1822, but I don't think. I think the AirTag must use phone signal, and I think we need to go outside because like that is the only thing I will say about an inside cabin. Oh, it's moved. I think it's in Barbados. That's that's the main thing. One of the things about inside cabins is you do struggle for phone signal because it's like a sealed container. Um, so you, so you will struggle for phone signal. I think um, I th they did say that the cases are running late. Um, I've just saw London Gatwick landed about an hour and a half before us, and their cases are just getting put outside their rooms. So I think you know, bless the staff. They're so busy. So it is what it is. I've said to Stevie the buffet is open till half one. So worst case scenario, we'll just go to the buffet. And we do have room service service available. Stevie, there's like a room service menu over there. We could have a look. We could have a look in that as well. Thought I would just quickly show you these as well. These were just outside of our room. Um, because I've got a child with me, which is obviously Stevie, as much as he doesn't look like a kid, he actually is. And uh, yeah, so he's obviously not 9 to 12. He actually is um, one of the older childs. So he will be at, which one have I just told you, Stevie? Scene, Steve, scene, yeah. So you're, you're at scene. Um, and it kind of gives you like a brief idea of what they'll be doing. Um, like with Stevie's age to do like escape rooms and stuff like that um, yeah so we've actually already booked him into this so we've actually obviously you can't go to Nike it's sold out I think the plan will be is he will go there on the first C day and then he'll have like 12 days with the kids because I don't think anyone well no one will be there tomorrow because it's embarkation day again but yeah you get all like the cruise program information and then you've got your guide to using my holiday now i've seen a lot of people on the ship so far um i've said this before guys and i'll say it again so uh, we had the same issue on the iona so basically pino don't use an app they use like a web page and it uh, if you're someone who's savvy with technology, you're going to get this straight away and you'll be like, right, I get it. You know, I know how to use it. But like, we've met so many people on board already who like obviously just aren't, you know, aren't tech savvy and they're struggling. The best thing to do is go to, I wouldn't go and wait at reception because if you wait at reception, you'll be waiting for ages. We were there earlier and there was probably a queue of like 20 people. What I would recommend is go to, they're called My Holiday Planners and they're all dotted around the ship. They're usually wearing like blue t-shirts. If you go and speak to them, they'll help you get set up. Once you get the hang of it, it does become easier. So please don't feel like, don't, don't, don't let this like worry you, if you know what I mean. But if, if if you are tech savvy and you think, well, I think I'll be able to do this, this is the website you need to go to, myholiday.pocruises.com. That is the web page, and basically that becomes your best friend, and you can plan stuff, you can book excursions, book res reservations, dining restaurants, because unfortunately, p and are using more of this system. You can still show up to restaurants, but again, you'll be waiting in a queue. Um, so, yeah... It it is what it is, guys. I have moaned about this before. I'm not going to spend this whole series moaning about my holiday. <laughs> you know, the my holiday app because you know if you want to if you want to hear that, you can go to my last cruise series. But yeah, it's it it works. It's just if you're not tech savvy, it can be a bit difficult. But once you get the hang of it, I can assure you, it's really simple. It's just trying to get the hang of it. Right, we're actually going to head out because our cases are still not here. So we're thinking about just going to the buffet and then coming back when our cases are here. Yeah, we're kind of in a catch-22 at the moment because the cases are still not here. We don't really feel comfortable eating in anywhere like where we would need to get dressed up because, I mean, like we're not dressed for that. <laughs> so I think we're just gonna go to the buffet tonight. I think it just makes more sense, to be honest. <sighs> so we get a tray, get yourself a plate, and the first thing I can see is chili con carne. I think Stevie's gonna treat himself to some chili con carne here. Oh, this is just what the doctor ordered. Tandoori chicken kebab. Oof. 
I'm living my best life right now. Oh, chill, sit. Can I just quickly say, sometimes on embarkation day, do you know, you hear quite a bit, like people will like always say like, you know, on Instagram and, and whatever, like embarkation day is just more stressful. We've definitely found, we, first of all, can I just quickly say something, P&O's organization in regards to checking at the airport, in regards to the flight, in regards to everything was just 10 out of 10. Can't fault P&O at all. Just before I waffle on, Stevie, what you got? Well, Hunter's chicken and rice. Hunter's chicken and rice, how does it taste? Chicken's quite nice. Is it? Is it nice? Right. Oh, don't, don't fall, camera. Do not fall. <laughs> yeah, I must say, 10 out of 10 for the organisation from PO and stuff. But I would say this has probably been my most stressful embarkation slash travel day. Just because it's a lot, we um we had a bit of a nightmare this morning. <laughs> we, oh my god, that stir fry is really nice. We, um at Manchester Airport, we are parked at Jet Park 3. I got out of my car into a dirty puddle. No joke. So the bottom of my pants and everything have been covered in mud. And I'm literally, we've been in these same clothes for like 17 hours where cases are still not in our room. They are going through the cases, but it's embarkation day, that's just generally what happens. So we're just gonna chill. We're just, I said this to you before, rather than sitting in the room waiting for our cases, let's just go and grab some food. We've got the drinks package. I don't know what I have told you, we've got the drinks package. Let's have a couple of drinks, chill, and uh, you know, just wait for our cases, but at least at least have full bellies. Right, back at the room, and guess what is here? Our cases are here. So now we can finally start unpacking, and the holiday can begin. I don't know about you guys, right, but it's always around about this time where I'm like, the holidays actually began when you're unpacking your case. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually usually unpack my case that often unless it's like a longer trip, just because when it's a short trip, I just feel like, well, if it's like a two, three night, I think, is it worth it over moving accommodation? But because we are in this room now for 14 days, I'm like, well, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang everything up, and um, I'm already having that disaster. Stevie's had a leak in his case. Don't know how face wash has leaked onto a couple of shirts or a shirt. Um, most of my clothes are creased. I don't even know why I spend all the time ironing them. Because you spend all the time ironing them, then you bring them on the ship, and then they need ironed again. All sorted. Everything's hanging up all nicely. But I've just realised one, I forgot my hair clippers. Having an absolute meltdown, haven't got my hair clippers. Secondly, um, don't think I've got enough tops. <laughs> nah, I think I've got enough tops. I might just need to do washing maybe a couple of times, but I think that is me pretty much sorted for getting ready for this cruise. I am a bit good, I can't be. I've left my hair clippers at home, but you know, I think it's one of them things again. I think you live and learn by these. I, I drove off this morning, I said to Stevie, I think I might have left my hair clippers. And when I say hair clippers, it's my uh, beard hair beard hair clippers. I was like, I'm sure I might have left them at home and I have. I'm hoping they'll do some sort of like service on the ship. Um, and obviously I'll, I'll let you guys know in, in a future vlog what the prices are and if it's too much then I might just see if I can buy some beard trim clippers. But anyway guys on that note I am going to call this vlog here. If you've enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already hit that subscribe button. I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs and early content and things like that. That. If you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below and make sure you tune back into the next vlog where we will be doing a full ship tour of Arvia, going for our breakfast and then going into Barbados, doing an excursion with P&O and then setting sail. How awesome does that sound? It sounds amazing. And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog as well. It's been a bit of a travel day, mishmash, getting on the ship, unpacked, packing, getting ready for the holiday. But yeah, I just wanted travel day to be a true representation of what you're probably likely going to experience when you come on a fly cruise. We, when I did a fly cruise back in 2019 uh, with P&O, we actually booked the flights ourselves and we flew out the day before. So we had 24 hours in Malta before we actually even got on the ship. So it was very, very different for me last time compared to this time. But like we got up this morning at like half four in the morning. We went to Manchester airport. Everything, by the way, like no complaints at all. Like I said before, like P&O 10 out of 10. Manchester airport 10 out of 10. It was brilliant. Nothing to complain 
complain about but it's just like a lot you know what i mean like nine hour flight and you then you've got to get on a bus to get to the ship and then you've got a queue to get onto the ship and then you're onto the ship and you got to run around get your drinks packages and get your room sorted and unpack your case and, that. and there's a lot to it you know what i mean um but anyway it's all going to be completely fun in games for the next vlog like i say we're going to show you all around the ship we're going to have a lovely breakfast try breakfast out downstairs go on a my one of my first piano excursions i believe um, well i've not done a piano piano excursion for a long time so we'll see how that goes and then it sets sail if any of you have watched my vlogs before you know how much i love set sail but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate the support thank you so much for watching my travel day to barbados and what it's like for embarkation day on a fly cruise and what Arby is like well the little bits we've saw that and i mean the little bits <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the morning thanks guys see you soon enjoy your day bye and we've arrived at our first stop. This house is absolutely crazy, but look what I've just found. It's like, uh, it's like off Scooby-Doo. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest. This isn't something that I would usually do, or even remotely think about doing. And there we go, we are leaving the land. And there is the pilot boat. That, I think it's just leaving us.